happy Friday, happy 1st of July, happy July, happy 4th of July weekend. My American friends over here, this side of the pond, it is really horrid out there. I also see the camera's a bit wonky, but we're going to make that work because I'm on my own. Um, yeah, if you start seeing the thunder and lightning, if I disappear completely, you know why. It's because of that awful, awful weather. Um, proper Florida storms and things going on. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Friday, as I say. Happy 1st of July. Hey, Jen. You're the first one to comment on here on the live. I'm super excited because today is release day, but it's a little bit different today. Um, we're going to have a mini release. So a lot of it are the ColourPop items and things like that that we're going to go through together. Um, the reason being is we have our crafter holiday party on July 16th, which is going to be the full release. So because we've got that going on, this is just like a little mini release. And if you want to win um, and be in the chance with winning a Switch, a Cricut Joy, um, thousands of dollars of gift cards and prizes and all sorts. Can you believe we have over 1,500 people registered for our Crafter Holiday Party? I'm so excited. So I just put the link down there, crafterholidayparty.com. If you haven't signed up, it's completely free to sign up if you want to come. I would love for you to come. So uh, if it's something you're interested in, hop on over and um, you can get your ticket. It's, it's going to be on Zoom and it'll be on YouTube, but you will not get either of the secret links unless you are signed up for a ticket. And we're also adding some extra bonuses and things to it too. So um, more info on that will be coming over the weekend. Um, CJ Hall says she received a paper order for the weekend. Hi, Vicar from Phoenix. Hey, Alicia. Uh, Alicia is headed out camping for today. I am also going, wow, we were going to go camping, but with all the rain, we converted to an Airbnb. And I'm hoping it'll be uh, dry enough that we can go, uh, we're going to go jet skiing and kayaking um, this weekend. Uh, hey, Lisa and TJ, Camp in 1965. Julie's here, Sharon's here, Brenda's here, Graciela's here, Deborah's here, Jane, Jen, um, Jamie, Lola, Elizabeth's here. You keep jumping on me. Melissa's here. Kim, Jane, um, Jensen's just arrived. Hey, Carmen. Olivia's here as well. So lots and lots of people here too. Hey, Stacy, in a foggy San Francisco. Yeah, we're in a stormy Florida. So I'll I'll be with you on that one. Um, who else we got? Sandy's here, and Denise is here, and Wendy's here, and Rose, and so many of you joining in. Um, hey, TJ. <laughs> yes, my cat is here too. Uh, we actually now have three cats and a dog. We got my mum's cat last night. Um, long, long story. Not sure if Greg's noticed yet. We're just keeping quiet and we're going to see what happens. But anyway, I am here. It's Friday. It's the 1st of July. It's 4th of July weekend. We all get a wonderful long weekend. I'm actually taking the whole weekend off. I'm going away. I'm so excited. Um, uh, with some friends and Greg's parents just arrived into town today. So he's spending the weekend with the kids and them. And then they're all off to Orlando next week and I'm working and then I'm traveling to Salt Lake. So it's kind of like, it's just crazy schedules right now with summer and families being here and all this kind of stuff going on. Um, goodness knows what's wrong with Jensen. But there you go. Uh, indoor plumbing. Yes, common. Well, I would have done the um, the camping thing. But it's like constant thunderstorms. I'm like, it's just going to be muddy and gross. And I'm not really feeling that idea. So we just got a super basic thing and that'll be fine. Uh, Kathy's leaving for the mountains in a few minutes. Um, yes, my cat's going to pull those curtains down. I see it behind me. Hey, the other Bethany as well. Um, and Lisa, I know she's hopping as well. I'm actually a few minutes early. Um, I put my other watch on and it's a little bit fast and yeah so I just fixed that too uh so anyway so I was here a little bit early um but today as I say is new release day and as the title of the video says we are also giving away for the crafter holiday party a Sizzix switch and I promised you a thousand dollars of prizes well I said I would double that if we got over a thousand people registered which we did we have I think it was like 1612 when I looked earlier um so I've added in a Cricut Joy machine I've added in more prizes tons and tons of stuff to give away I'm so excited it's gonna be an amazing weekend we've got some super cool stuff thanks TJ she said love your hair I've added this like I got little braids on either side one side's one and one side's two I think and then all I did was take a scarf, 
tie it and then just take my hair in. It's super easy, but it looks really cool. I'm really pleased with it. So thank you. Um, let's see. More people, more fun. Absolutely. Um, would love to hear when Greg notices the cat. Yes, and we'll keep you all posted on that one. It's going to be it's going to be fun. Um, anyway, it's fine. <laughs> They're cats. They're a lot easier than dogs. We also have Bentley, of course. Um and next weekend, he's going to Kim uh, in our warehouse. She's our warehouse manager. And he's going to her house for the weekend because I will be traveling and Greg's away with his parents. So everything's just kind of like crossing over, which is why we're, anyway, it's all good. It's going to be a lot of fun. And the girls get to go away. Well, Tilly's going away. Maddie's staying home because Maddie's working and launching her business. Um, and I don't know if it'll really happen or not because it's Maddie and she's a teenager. But we're supporting her and giving her all the tools and the resources. And I said she can stay home with me if she wants to and launch her business so that'll be fun too so all of that's going on um let's see who is love the knobby sweater thanks carmen i was so oh my goodness i was so cold earlier so i have this cute skirt on which is brand new i'll stand up so you can see it so it's got poppies and stuff on it and i was so 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 cold so i added this little lime green sweater and i think it made the outfit i think it just you know watch out i know Catherine. Catherine cartwright says your cat is behind you. I know. He's absolutely creating chaos. Um, will you be coming to Massachusetts in September for the Stamping Expo? I don't know. If you email Bethany, maybe. Um, let's see what else is going on. Um, yes. So all those things going on. All right. Who is ready to see our mini release? As I say, this release is a little bit different because we have the Craft a Holiday Party. And if you haven't registered, it is free to come. You just need the link to get the, the freebie. Um, so I added it back there for you. Um, so this is a mini release. And then it's basically everything that's in ColourPop. And then you can um, come on the 16th and see the rest of Christmas in July. Uh, is there anything that anyone's seen on the website yet? Or maybe you've seen them in the ColourPop boxes that's your favorite from this ColourPop release? Drop me a comment over there as well and let me know. And uh, lots of you saying you're coming to the craft or holiday party. I'm so excited. Um, one of the guys, uh, I don't, some of you met him in Orlando um, at both of the expos. So Cody is going to be here for the day, helping me with comments and giveaways and stuff. Um, Greg's taking the kids out for the day with his parents because they'll be here. Uh, we have the Friday night pre-party for VIPs, which is going to be amazing. Um, you do not want to miss that. We have um, inspiration and I'm working on trying to get some guests to come and giveaways and it's absolutely going to be amazing. It's going to be like a mini Christmas. It literally is going to be a mini Christmas in July. Um, I can never answer my what my favorite is, Lola says. Um, Melissa says, haven't got my box yet. Uh, love the inserts. Karen says, I'm late. I can't find the email. Do I need to... Do I need it to get in on giveaway? So for the 16th, if you are a VIP, you do not have to be present to win giveaways. If you do not have VIP, you do need to be present. Okay, so just to put that out there as well. Uh, Bethany says she got her ColourPop box, but it's been out the house most of the day, so she hasn't opened it yet. Hey, Lisa! Um, so excited for the VIP party. All right. So let's dive in. Lots of chat already, so let's just dive into it. All right, so every single month, we release a new ink color, and Katie stamped this one out using our swatching stamps. This month's uh, ink is called Pit Stop Pink, and I'll smush it out for you here as well. I grabbed some white cardstock right here. I'm just gonna tear a piece off. And we'll just turn this over for a minute. Look at this beautiful pink. Like it is the most amazing pink. You can see once it dries, it actually lightens up a little bit. I put a ton on there. It is much more this color once it's dry. But you can go all the way down to this like berry kind of color if you mount it up. So if I just do it lightly, you see it's like that lovely kind of pink, light pink. And then when you really smush it down, you get that deep pink. And pit stop comes. So I don't know if any of you, oh, yes, you can see. I don't know if any of you remember um, Wacky Races back in the day. Um, and they had a character on there called Penelope Pit Stop. And everyone, when I worked at Jaguar, used to call me Penelope Pit Stop because I was a girl and I loved wearing pink, particularly that pink. 
And I was a bit of a racer. We did all our racing licenses and everything. So I was always known as Penelope Pitstop. And my avatar when I do stuff is always Penelope Pitstop. So we had to have Pitstop Pink for Penelope Pitstop. That's how that comes as well. How does it compare to bubblegum? I don't know if I have my bubblegum here. Um, we haven't unpacked everything. I have bubble tea. But I don't think I have bubble gum. This is bubble tea, which is far more like dusty in color. Um, bubble gum is going to be much lighter. I think I might have the re ink here. Let me see what's up there. Um, we went to the expo last weekend, so I'm a little light on supplies right now. But let's see how we can. It's nothing like an inky finger. See, it's going to be more um, like the bubble gum and the bubble tea and more those dusky pinks. This is going to be more comparable to like a more muted raraska. It's going to go perfectly between raraska and tip tree jam. That's where this is going to sit um, on there too. So, um, yes. So I would say that sits between those two. So between raraska and tip tree jam is where this pink here is going to lay. And that is pit stop pink and I love it because it reminds me of some fun times I had okay we also have a new type of paper it's called aged antique and it's a little bit different it's actually more of a vellum paper let me get it out and because this theme of the release is Christmas in July you're going to see there's some things that are really going to work with your holiday now this, I don't know how, like it's kind of picking up the texture actually pretty well on there. You see how that looks, that texture? Like imagine that old kind of parchment-y effect. Um, I'm going to play with this in a minute. I have an idea with it. But yeah, that kind of old parchment-y. It's about, I think it's an 80-pound. Lisa will have to tell me if that's right or not. Yes, it's a vellum paper, so it has the feel of vellum, but it's thick. You can see it's opaque. You're not going to see through it. Um, and it's got like that beautiful parchment parchmentiness to it. I don't even know if that's a word, but I'm making it a word today because I love it. All right, what does everyone think of this? Is this all in the ColourPop box? Yes. So this is in the ColourPop box, Melissa. If you get, I can't remember if you get ColourPop or ColourPop Premiere, but I'll let you know either way. Next up, we have our new glitter, uh, which is called Shooting Star. I'm going to open the lid here for you. Look at that. It's like snow, snow white but with a ton of white sparkle. So a lot of um, glitters have a silver sparkle or they have a rainbow sparkle or anything. But I picked this one because it has a white sparkle. You can dye this with alcohol inks and make your own custom color. You can put this down with the red tape and then paint with alcohol inks and create a rainbow on top of it. And the sparkle is still gonna shine through. Like it is so, 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 so pretty. Like, look at this. Katie put some down on here for you. So you can see. Just look at the dance that you get in this. I mean, it's like disco ball. I mean, absolutely disco ball. Um, so, 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 so cool. Look at that. So that is your shooting star glitter. It's going to go perfectly with your shooting star Um words uh shooting star kaleidoscope powder we also always do a speciality glitter of the month and this month here it is it's called glow stick um so this again look at that gorgeous orange so apparently bright colors are the thing for this christmas so i decided i was going to pick out something that's a little bit different but you can use this for all kinds of holidays maybe for halloween um Maybe you do an orange Christmas. I don't know. I know I had an orange Christmas tree. Maybe I could make that work somehow. I don't know. But again, it's a chunkier glitter. So it's great for um, doing in shaker cards and those kinds of things. But again, um, look at how cool that is. Uh, the link, Lisa, the link says shown 404. Do you need me to take the lock off of it? Um, let me know. Hey, Nancy um if you need me to i can take i think i know how to take it off if you need some help so just let me know um i'm working on them no have to fix time i think i can just take the lock off for you hang on um hang on. 
I'm going to go here for a second. Let me see if I can fix this for her or help fix it in some way. I thought if we went, um, I'm looking. So, I'm only seeing the young at heart being locked. I don't see anything else locked. Server having issue. Let me see if I can do products, collections, um, tagged with. See, this is where we do teamwork. This is where we, we all work together beautifully. Um, find July. My eyes have got all funny. Okay, I'm not. an issue Let's see active 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 they're all showing active on my end um lisa ah Perfect. So Lisa's fixing them for you. So you'll be able to see them. Okay. What else do I have in my goodie bags? Oh, look at this paper. So if you are doing summer camp, you have already possibly seen this paper. Um, it is by Eileen Hull. Um, I can't remember the name. Maybe someone can let me know. Hey, Sheila. Um, okay. I'll show you in a second how I do the hair. Um, so this is from Eileen Hull. It was in your summer camp boxes if you're doing summer camp. But what I do want to say is this is the most beautiful paper. It's like eight by 10, I think is its official size. And it has like all of these gorgeous prints she designed for you on there. And if you like doing journals or you want something a little bit bigger, or of course you could just cut them down to card front size too. Um, all that kind of stuff in here as well. Um, if someone can remind me of the name, that would be awesome. I'm having a total brain blank on what it's called right now. Um, but that is also available in this release as well. And also something else from Summer Camp, if you didn't see it already, uh, now available in the store by popular demand because everyone saw it, is our Seed Packet Ephemera. Vintage Vines. Thank you, Lisa. That's what the paper's called. This is Seed Packet Ephemera. So they all come cut to size. But look how adorable these pieces of ephemera are. Like, so, so cool. Um, I think it's called Seed Catalog, technically. Um, and you can see, like, how beautiful are these? You could ink them. You could decoupage them. You could distress them. You could crackle them. You could rip them. You know, you could do all kinds of awesome, awesome things on here as well. Um, yes. Stacy says, what was the white glittery embossing powder? It's actually, it was a glitter, Stacy, and it's called um, Shooting Star. This one right here. This is called Shooting Star. Okay. Next up. We have two new embossing powders for you. So you have Clear Skies and Rose Fields. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been coughing all day. Now, I don't know how or what she did to get this texture in here. Um, but Katie did this. This is our swatching stamp, which does have a little bit of texture in it. I don't know what she did because she got like these bubbles in it, which looks really cool. But this is Clear Skies. So it's that lovely kind of pale blue. It would be great for clouds, icy tinges, all those kinds of things but really, really pretty. And it has a super gloss finish. Do you see how glossy that is? 
How cool. Uh, Curiosity Kindle, no, they were not in your ColourPop boxes. Um, and then um, the other one is the Rose Fields. Now, last year I had a pale pink and pale blue Christmas tree. And so I love this one. So this has fine glitter in it. I'm going to lift this up. Like it has the fine rainbow glitter in it. But it also has like a chunky disco ball glitter with that beautiful light pink undertone. Look at that. I think this Rose Fields is going to get a big workout for wedding cards, christenings, um, birthdays, holidays, you know, like modern holiday kind of cards, clean, simple, really, really beautiful and super easy to use. They come in these square jars, which are treated with an anti-static. Um, the powders are also uh, treated with an anti-static uh, process. So you can see that like, Katie didn't use any anti-static pad on this. And look how clean they come out. Like, seriously, she didn't even use it because she said to me, I can't find it. Do you mind if I skip it? I was like, sure, it's fine. Um, so all of that is on there too. Um, reminds me of Ballet Pink. Yes, Annette, I love that. Um, Lola says, okay, I like This has to be my favorite for this box. <laughs> Catherine says, gorgeous colors, pretty embossing powders. I think this Rose Fields is going to be an absolute favorite for a lot of people, um, me included. Also by popular demand you can now buy two packs of the replacement tips for the magic wand so lots of people have been asking for them and asking for them and asking for them so we have the wax tips are now available in a two pack they literally just slot in if i don't know where mine is i don't think no, mine isn't in here but literally they just you just pull out the tip and you put the new one in and that's it so they they are now available too um yes lisa lisa wrote the most hilarious description for these i don't know which one ended up going live on the site but bethany and i were on the phone as lisa was sending them to her oh my goodness i was dying i literally i was crying i mean i was crying with laughter Lisa, they were hilarious. So I don't know what ended up on the site. I didn't get to see the final one. Bethany didn't tell me what she put up. But oh my goodness, you had me dying laughing. So that was so much fun. Lola says her pop box says in transit. Um, the download shows the meeting in April 22nd. April 22 is that is passed. Don't worry, Vic, it will work. Um, we've been testing it and things. Do you use clear color hive ink to put the glitter mix down or heat embossing? So the glitters, I actually have a new glue. I'm going to show you in a second. Um, so you can use any kind of adhesive you want. Tape, adhesive, whatever. The embossing powders, yes, you can use the Maker Forte color hive clear right here. Um, Catherine says, would you please show the new pink ink pad with the other paints? We just went through those. So the, um, the Pit Stop Pink is going to go with Rara, right between Rara Ra Skirt and Tip Tree Jam. Um, I don't, my Rara Ra Skirt's been leveraged somewhere, but I do have a little bit of Tip Tree Jam. Do you see how beautiful that's going to fade in there? Um, just like that as well. Yes, don't forget to hit thumbs up. Thank you, Lola. Um, and for those of you who are tuning in to find out how to win one of our amazing prizes, go to hol crafterholidayparty.com and sign up for your free ticket and um, follow the instructions. Come join us on July 16th or sign up to be a VIP. You don't have to actually then be there and you can possibly win one of those awesome prizes. Okay, next up, we have some gems. Uh, we have clouds is our gem for this month. And I want to just show you something. So I don't know. I know I've talked about this once or twice, but lots of people I know haven't seen this. So our gems come in these cool little pots. And right here, we added a little angle. There's a little chamfer in there. The reason being, oh, there's a few too many. Let's go with that many. Is you put it in. Look how cool that is. It puts them all the right way up for you. You literally just... Tap, 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 tap. And then they're the right way up for you to use. You then grab your um, pick a poker tool. I've just got my tip right here. And you just pick it up and off you go. So that's how that works too. Um, Lisa says, lol, I just read the description on the site. I don't think I can read it. 
while I'm live on air because I think I would just fall into being a giggling mess. Is it funny, Lisa? Did she do it? Um, Lisa says, that was the one I felt was most appropriate, but I was in tears laughing, having never a dull poker yet. Oh, my God. You should have seen some of the edits. I think we might have to publish them somewhere and um, maybe add, like, viewer discretion advice, but you might want to read this because it was so funny. We also have a new kaleidoscope powder called Blizzard. Now, if you don't know about our kaleidoscope powders, they are a pigment powder. Same but different to Perfect Pearls. I know that sounds weird, same but different, but that's the only way I can um, use the analogy. I'm going to do black and white right here. I'm just taking our clear ink. And I'm taking a jewel tipped brush. Um, and... So if you struggle, I don't know whether you're talking about these ones or these ones that you struggle to open, but literally just take them between your palms. And that's it. It just cracked. That's it. So if it's on really tight, because they are on tight when you first get them, literally just sandwich it like you're clapping and turn and you'll feel that first click and then it's super easy. That's it. Top tip of the day. And then this you can mix with resin. You can mix it with water. But wait till you see this shimmer and shine. You can probably start seeing it already. Um, it looks great as just like your own wink of Stella, all that kind of stuff. Um, let's see. So normally I would get my, maybe this one will work. There we go. Normally I'm my rainbow brush. But as I say, everything's packed from the expo from last weekend. So on white, you see how just beautifully shimmery it is? Literally like a little snow blizzard, hence the, the name. So that's that one. And then when you put it on black, it has a blue tint to it. So that's where like all the blue and the clouds and all that kind of stuff comes in. So it really then gives you that beautiful Christmassy thing as well. Um, yeah, I love that. So... Annette says about Pit Stop Pink, haven't had a chance to compare ink yet, but I tested it. And it's a lovely shade of pink going from a pale pale to a deeper pink. Gorgeous. And I'm not typically a pink girl. I'm so pleased you love Pit Stop because it really is mine as well. Uh, thanks for the tip on opening the jar. Gorgeous on black, isn't it? Uh, Flamingo is my new favorite pink ink. I'm sighted. Um, and Carla apparently put a tip down. I don't know where the tip is the color put down. I don't see it. I must have missed it. Okay, um, all the kaleidoscope powders have or will have a picture with them on black and white stock on the site. Yes, can I just say, Lisa, you have been doing amazing improvements to the site. I am absolutely blown away by what's been going on. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We also have, it's just a couple more things. I say, this is just a mini release. If you want to come see the full release, you need to come to the crafter party. And the best bit is it's free. So this is going to be a little one tonight. So you, you definitely can grab anything out you might want. We have a new die for you too. Best wishes day. Now the idea of this is it is mix and match because you know the happy birthday we've got. It also works with that too. Uh, same fonts. You can do happy day. Um, best wishes for your birth for your with a stamp birthday. Um, best birthday and you could add ever. So we'll have more of these adding come in and this one has six pieces in it. The idea being you can mix match best wishes, um, happy day from the happy birthday set. So all of the mix match, you get the positive and the negative. Here we go. I thought Katie was cutting them out earlier, but maybe she wasn't. Um, so this is how they come. So you get the outline and you get the insert, okay? of both. They all come on a magnet sheet included and they come in this little storage envelope that has a clasp on it. It has the size on it and a picture so you know exactly what's inside too. Lisa says storms are hitting Jacksonville. I might disappear. Stay safe, Lisa. Honestly, it's pretty bad here. Uh, we don't have rain right now, but it's been bad all day. Um, uh, Bo says I would love to see even more descriptions since I don't see all the demos. Uh, hey, Crafty Corner, she just joined. Um, hello and goodbye, I'm at my in-laws nagged by my kids. Um, 
Yes. So yeah, so this one comes on a magnet sheet. You've got best wishes and day, as I say, it coordinates perfectly with the happy birthday that we have as well. So you can do happy day, best birthday, best wishes, best day, you know, all those happy wishes. So you can mix and match all of these different things as well. Um, and there'll be more of those coming too. So, uh, like, you know, you know, I'm all about the coordination side of things. So um, that's that. And then we have our new silhouette stamp, which is a little bit different this month. So I admit this was not meant to be the silhouette for this month. We had a really bad issue with the plate they sent us. So Bethany and Cody, can I just say, we have the most amazing team between Bethany and Lisa and Amanda and everyone. They really pull out the bag and Kim and Cody and Chris here. They, I don't know what time Cody was vulcanizing till one night, but he made all of these, phoned them and cut them in like, 36 hours and I mean that was a lot I mean 100 and something of these it was insane and I mean she made the plate and he made the thing and they just did this amazing job so this is what you've got I'm going to stamp it out for you two different ways because I have two ideas that I want to share with you so the first one we're going to do on white okay doesn't really matter if I get it right or not and I kind of like to stamp with, I'm going to do telephone box on this one. Lisa says Cody rocks. He really does. And it's hilarious. When I take him to the expo and Chris too, all the women are cooing over them and like, oh, they're so cute and they're so amazing and they're so nice and they're so this. So, I mean, I guess they're doing something right. Look at that. Isn't that like just the most... I feel like that could just be your card. You could just take a little bit of water, soften the lines. Um, I'm going to show you another way you can do it. And that's literally, if you didn't want to sit and color it, I think you could kind of call that down too. Um, this is your other part. So the Home Color Holidays has two mega stamps in it, which is just amazing. I'm going to use this new parchment paper. I'm just going to trim it down with my scissors right here. Hopefully that's about the right size. When I get back next week, I need to unpack. Just in time for me to leave again. Okay. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do it in telephone box. Mm. It would do in Grand Canyon, what do you think? Let's do some Grand Canyon. So the first one was telephone box. This one is Grand Canyon. Again, you could just soften it with a little bit of water, spritz it now, take a water pen, go over it afterwards. Any of those would work. A smusher if you've got your perfect stamping bundle. Look at that. Isn't that just like gorgeous? Ah, there is a stencil Wendy, which is what I'm going to show you some cool ideas with. So let's just put that over there for a minute. So here's number one that we stamped out and it comes with this stencil that's called snowy skies now you could use this as bubbles or of course you can use it as snow um and for the first one i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take mm, some marshmallow paste and i have a brand new one right here hey bethany <laughs> Sheila says, have I ever expressed how much I love the smusher? It's a game changer. You all need it. Um, yes, you really do. So, woo, my marshmallow paste has got some oomph to it today. So this is marshmallow paste. If you've never tried it, it's the most amazing stuff in the world, but it is so potent. So I don't suggest applying it with a spatula because otherwise you will have so much marshmallow, you don't know what to do with yourself. I either take, this is a gel press tool from Ranger, uh, an old paintbrush, like a Dollar Tree type paintbrush, and I just paint it on. Um, this is nice because it kind of smushes it in the stencil and makes sure it's not too thick, um, but it gives me a nice coat at the same time. And I have control over it, which I kind of like. So I can put more in certain places. I can skip things, you know, just play around with it. But literally, I'm just, you see, just kind of painting my way around. And 
Okay. So once you put the marshmallow paste through your stencil, and one pot of marshmallow paste will literally last you forever. Um, I have a demo pot and I've demoed with it so many times and it still has marshmallow paste in it. This stuff is so potent, but there is also a ton of things you can do with it. Um, I'm just gonna do that and then make a total mess right here. Luckily I have a rag on hand. Okay. Someone says, Stacy says, I do need to smush it all. So Stacy, I'm going to give you a top tip. If you go to IWantFreeInk.com um, and you get the free ink pad, the smusher is on an amazing deal once you get your free ink pad. Just a top tip. Um, now I'm going to take my heat gun and let it heat up for a second. Do you see there how I've got my little polka dots of marshmallow paste over that? Okay. And now we're just going to heat and wait till you see what happens. It gives you like the most amazing snowy texture. And you can make this grow as much or as little as you want. And if you want more, then just heat it from the back. It will expand. Look at all of that texture. Now, I suggest leaving this too dry so it gets, um, it kind of solidifies. Uh, you can also give it a spritz of hairspray like we do with the kaleidoscope powders. That will work too. But now look, isn't that just like the cutest little snowy scene? It has all this cute snow on it. Love it. So that's one way. Another way you can do this. Where did I put the stencil down? Here it is. Make sure I put it on right way up. Okay, is we now have our no show Maker's Magic glue. Now, our Maker's Magic normally is 3D or flat, but I had some requests for something that was completely flat. The requests were the fact that you could not see it once it was dry at all. You wouldn't even know it was there. It also had to work on vellum. It had to be super strong. And there was something else people asked me for. Um, super strong, worked on vellum, can't see it. Oh, that if basically if you put it on a paper and you rub it with the eraser, it would come off, but only if you wanted it to. And I think, I think I would like to say we fulfilled that brief. So it's called no show because it doesn't show. Um, it was kind of a little bit of fun with like, you know, no show, people who don't show up, whatever. Um, and then what you can do is you can either just take the precision tip and put it over to give you like some guidance where to put it. Cause if you're like me and you don't know how to do random, I wouldn't suggest using this one like a paste. If you're going to do that, use the clear and then you can either stick gems on it or I'm going to use that new shooting star glitter. I'm just literally dropping it on. And if it's not perfect, it's perfect. It's okay. Because who knows where my snow would fall. Okay, just like that. Okay. You can mix this. If you want to make it a colored glue, you can mix it. But it will dry completely clear, I promise. I'm just going to put that up there. I'm going to move my sticky mat out of the way because I want to get glitter all over it. And then I'm going to take some shooting star. Just sprinkle it all over. As I say, you can also dye this shooting star. Just get a little tray, mix in some alcohol ink. Just mix, mix, mix. I mean, like two drops will dye probably like a third of this bottle. Look at that. You see that? How cool is that? And then, you know, as I say, I might take a water brush and just soften the edges of some of these brick lines, like you're saying. I don't know if I've got any water in here. 
It's still my way. So if I take this, I was doing some home decor stuff the other day. Oh, that's green. That's not going to work. What color is this in? There we go. So if you just take, and this obviously has some kaleidoscope powder on it too, so it's adding a touch of shimmer. And I'm trying to avoid the wet glitter. So obviously do this before the glitter. But this is just water on here. I'm going to do half just to kind of show you the difference. You could add color, you could use Copics, you know, do whatever you want. But like just, so you see this half that I've added the water on versus the crisp half, it just softens it up and it makes it look um, just that little bit, a um, little bit watercolory. And because I had Kaleidoscope, I had the Blizzard powder on my brush. It also left behind a little bit of extra shimmer, which would stay there. You see that's a little bit shimmering. But just the water alone would also, um, you know, just soften that out. So you can do it that way, or you could do it this way. You could do this, but on this paper, I think that would also look gorgeous. Um, you know, tons and tons of different ways. So this is just a little bit of a teaser for what is coming for Christmas in July. It's going to be an amazing race. I say it comes out July 16th. Come to the free crafter party. So it's crafter, so craft E R holiday party.com. And um, it's totally free to join. Um, there is a VIP option and some other fun stuff in there. But if you just want to come along and learn for the day, come join us. Um, I think Bethany will be around. Hopefully, Lisa's around. Um, Cody's going to be here. Greg might stop him, but I know he's taking the girls out so that I can work for the day. Um, all those kinds of things. It's going to be a ton of fun as well. Um, and how about we do a little giveaway this evening? What do we all think? Um, what do we think? Giveaways, maybe? Maybe? If I'm thinking about it. I mean, we don't have to. We could just skip and say, hey, this evening's done. Um, yes, please. Can't wait. Your party's always so fun. Thank you, Catherine. Oh. Okay, so we're going to do that as well. Um, so what should we do to enter the giveaway? Okay, so to enter the giveaway, I want you to comment your favorite thing that I've shown you tonight that you're going to be adding to your basket and checking out tonight. So com comment there. Um, what's your favorite thing from the this release that I've shown you tonight that you're going to be adding to your basket and checking out as soon as I finished going live? What's it going to be? Uh, Wendy says, what, what? Uh, Catherine Carr says, the seed packet ephemera, uh, the new glue. Sharon says, the glitter. Marianne says, the new glue. No show is really cool. Um, the dyes, the stamps, the stamps and the glitter, the pit stop pink ink. Yay, bow you after my own heart. The stamp, the pink embossing powder, stamp set, new glue, seed packets, the blue embossing powder. Um, Jay says, darn it, I just checked in. I need a, a recap um paper stamps oh my goodness a little bit of everything carrie says everything um i love the stamps you just demoed the new glue the new ink color the seed packets the new show the marshmallow paste the stencils like your sweater actually it is isn't it i would say i planned it but i didn't i was just so cold that i needed a sweater um glitter um annette says i started late but ephemera and the new glue uh stacy wants everything um kaleidoscope powder marshmallow stuff seed packets Bo says i want it all and julian says pretty green sweater maybe thank you um all right so i'm gonna scroll up and my winner is pauline king so congrats, Pauline. Um, email ecom, E-C-O-M-M, -M, 
at makeaforte.com and Bethany will get that sent out to you next week when she's back in the office on Tuesday. Uh, she'll send you a $25 gift card to the Maker Forte store. Um, in the meantime, everyone, go check out, these are brand, brand new products. As always, they are first come, first served. And um, with shipping and logistics right now, it's so hard for us to restock things. So do make sure you grab them. Make sure you grab your ticket to the crafters, craft, we are, holidaypartycom It's in the link below. It's in the chat next to me. Uh, go add your ticket. Get that for free. Every time we get another thousand people, we're adding more and more giveaways. So we're giving away a switch. We're giving away a Cricut Joy. We're giving away gift cards. We're giving away goodie bags. We're giving away all kinds of stuff. Um, so it's going to be amazing. Uh, so come join us for that as well. Um, is this supposed to be a bonus in the pack for yearly subscribers? Uh, there was something, and I can't remember what it was. I have to ask Bethany. Um, Sheila says, I missed you all. Jay says, I'm about to buy some glue, so I need to rewind and see what I missed. Maybe I'll get MF glue instead. I think you'll love it. Honestly, Jay, it's amazing stuff. Um, no show. Really, really like it. Um, happy 4th of July weekend, everyone. Yes, you too, Lisa. Um, what things are not in the color pop box? I get the big one. So Melissa, there is no glue in there. And there's no seed packet ephemera in there. And there is none of the Eileen Hull vintage vines paper. That's not in there either. So they're the three things that are not in your color pop premier boxes. Um, but yeah. So thank you everyone for hopping on this Friday night. As I say, I am off kind of camping, but probably jet skiing and stuff. I'll post stuff on Instagram stories. So if you follow at the hedgehog hollow on Instagram, I'll be sure to post. Um, go grab your tickets. They are completely free. So if you are on a tight budget this summer, which I know lots of us are, you can go grab them, craftaholidayparty.com, and it's completely free to come join us. And other than that, I will be back next week. Wednesday is Lift Your Spirits. Again, make sure you got your free tickets when you check out all of your goodies tonight. And that's about it. So thank you for hopping on with me. Um, is there any sale tonight? No, but there's no sale. I don't know if there's any bundles on there. Um, Lisa can let us know. Sea packets are nice. Thanks, Johanna. Um, Amanda says, thanks, Bethany. And um, yeah, so super cool stuff going on. And yeah, that's it. Oh, free shipping. Is there free shipping? Lisa? Bethany? See, I haven't been home for a couple of weeks. Um, I come home for like two days and I leave again because I've been teaching at the expos, the two expos in Orlando. And I've been to Phoenix to see one of my friends. Her husband's been very sick. Um, and to go and see scrapbook.com. And that kind of stuff. So it's kind of a little bit insane. Um, no bundles. Thanks, Carrie. She says, love your sweater. Love your samples, Carrie. Can't wait to show those on the 16th. Um, uh, an email today said, free shipping from the Prickle. Okay. Sounds. Good. Of that. Uh, you sent me a thing for free shipping. Yes. Uh, when is Chunky Mossing Pad about to start? Bethany is working really hard on that. Um, we thought it was on the way, and then when the box of stuff turned up, it wasn't in there. So we will sort that out as well. Um, I have locked the spanner. Don't worry. As soon as I saw it, I got rid of it. Don't worry. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Um, unfortunately, those things happen. So, yes, free shipping. Free shipping is on this weekend. There you go. Isn't that cool? Free shipping. Um, so yeah, so go. You can check out and add all these goodies and not pay any shipping. So that sounds pretty cool to me. Um, all right. So I'm going to go hop off of here. Thank you, everyone, for spending a little bit of your Friday with me. I will see you Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern for Lift Your Spirits. I got some really cool stuff to share with you, as always. As always. Um, but I'm super excited. We're going to make some quick, easy holiday cards. Again, techniques you can use for anything. Um but we'll be kind of focusing on the holiday card side of things. So have a fantastic 4th of July. Stay safe, everyone. And I will see you next week for Lift Your Spirits. I'll see you then. Make sure you go sign up for that ticket right now. Crafter, craft, E-R, holidayparty.com. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.